Robin Hood Radio presents the commentary of Don Morrison. Don is a former editor at Time Magazine. He's an author, lecturer, and member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. When I was young and foolish, I worked too hard. Twelve-hour days, occasional all-nighters, an incipient ulcer. What was I thinking? I blame Max Weber, my boss. Not my real boss, of course, but the early 20th century sociologist whose thinking I had swallowed. He gave us the term Protestant work ethic. It distilled centuries of religious teaching about how work is inherently rewarding in this life and the next. Been thinking about him lately. Republican governors in five states are ending the COVID rescue plan's $300 supplemental unemployment benefit. Another eight mostly GOP-run states are imposing work search requirements for that weekly payment. Republicans argue that eight million jobs are going unfilled, the most since the pandemic began, and that we're not taking them because of those fat unemployment checks. How dare we be so irreligious. Well, we have our reasons. First, many of those empty jobs are minimum wage horror shows. Second, we don't want to die. COVID is still hitting 30,000 people a day, especially in low-pay service industries. Third, we can't find childcare since the pandemic has clobbered that industry. Fourth, many of us are waiting to be called back to our old jobs, which we could well be now that the economy is recovering. Fifth, some of us older workers have been helped by the booming stock market market to retire. But Republicans, and many bosses, seem to be listening more to Max Weber than to the Labor Department. They think we need to suffer more, to be driven back to the salt mines by fear and destitution. Builds character, you know. Fortunately, attitudes are changing in the U.S. Polls show widespread support for simply paying workers more, for raising the minimum wage, for strengthening unions. Support is also growing for a guaranteed income, a regular payment not tied to a job. Two dozen U.S. cities are currently trying out that idea, and even more places overseas. So far, putting a floor under people's incomes actually increases the likelihood they'll take a job. Most people in those experiments, and many outside them, say they do want to work. They like the independence, camaraderie, dignity that jobs can confer. Hmm. Maybe my old slave driver, Max Weber, was right. Maybe work really is inherently good, as long as the rewards are also good. I'm Don Morrison. Don Morrison is an author and editor. He's taught at universities in the United States, Europe, and Asia. He's the European editor of the British magazine Port and a member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. He lives in Paris, Miami, and in Berkshire County.